Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor's Kazana. This is Kavitha here. Today we are going to do Urlai Chetinad. It's a typical Chetinad speciality. Chetinad is a place in Tamil Nadu. First heat a pan and dry roast certain ingredients and make a powder of it so that we can use it as a spice for our recipe. The pan is hot. Now these are red chilies. I'm using the Kashmiri variety because I like less spice but usually Chetinad recipes have a lot of spice. So if you like real spicy dish then you can use the Bedki or the Reshim Patti variety. So I'm adding the red chilies. You can add uh, two to three tablespoons of lid black gram. Now since we are adding peppercorns, peppercorns also have add to the little bit of spice. So when you add the red chilies, add accordingly. Now saute this or dry roast till you get a nice aroma of the urad dal. Now you can prepare this powder and keep it at home. Store it in an airtight container and use it for any kind of vegetable recipe. In Chetinat, people usually have a very spicy cuisine. You have the Chetinat chicken, which is a very famous uh, recipe out there. Okay, now we are getting a nice aroma. We have to cool this and then grind it to a fine powder. You can see the dal has changed its color. So I have cooled the mixture now and I am going to grind it to a fine powder. Always remember you should not grind things hot in your grinder. They may not even ground to a fine mixture and you might burn your hand at times. So here, I'm grinding it into a fine powder. Don't open it in front of your nose, then you might sneeze. Okay, now it's ready. I'll empty it into a bowl. Now the pan is hot. Add oil, mustard seeds, they start splattering, add a few curry leaves, onion and saute till the onions are light brown or translucent. Now usually this variety of onion is called sambar onions and is famous down south. If you don't get these onions where you stay, you can use the ordinary onions, slice it and use them. This recipe would take a very less time if all your ingredients are ready. Even if the spice powder, if you have ground and kept it ready, then this is going to take a very less time. So now the onions have browned. I'm going to add the boiled, peeled baby potatoes. Okay, mix it well. Let's add a bit of salt. It's according to your taste. And now the ground powder. You can add as much as you want. And mix it well so that the spice powder mixes with the potatoes and the onion. You can use a non-stick pan so that you need not use so much of oil. After you have added the spice and mixed it well, cover and cook it for few minutes so that the potatoes get cooked with the spices. So the potatoes are ready now. I'm going to take them out in a serving bowl. Let me taste it. Really yummy. I enjoyed it. More spice, more tasty. Hope you to enjoy this recipe and try it again and again. Till we meet again, it's bye from Kavita.